Hello to you all souls and spirits, beautiful souls and beautiful spirits. You know me, I really like to share my thoughts. I Part of my uh, nature is that when I receive something, not to enjoy it myself, just always to remember to pass it over to the next in line. So wanted to share with you a thought I had about the redemption topics that we spoke about many times in the past, but always um, becoming more and more relevant when we're coming closer and closer to that day of redemption with no doubt. So like we said many times that every person in this universe, he lives his life as an individual trapped in physicality inside his own vehicle in his own body trapped in a certain time tunnel experience his own life through that body with his senses and uh, using his mind tool to understand and realize what goes on in his life um, the blessing that he been blessed with by the creator now in the same time that every single one of us experience his life there are many many depths and and many many aspects that are greater than we can grasp as individuals that are so limited under this covering of physicality like the life of another person that lives his life and has his own time tunnel and lives his own life of experience of life in a separated body than yours um, separated body um, that experience things in different ways and except of all people that lives in the same time there are also all the animals and all the birds and all the geese and all the bird all kinds of species and flies and butterflies and and also the the grass and flowers and all the trees their leaves and when you go deeper into that the water that are going from one place to the other flowing and washing the world and purifying the world and all those aspects are taking place in the present time but also there are deeper aspects of how you go deeper and deeper in realizing and understanding what really goes on in this world that the atoms are running inside the systems and there is a spirit that gives life to every particle in creation and all those things are taking place there is the world of sound and there is the the world of light and there are energies that are moving and there is the spiritual aspect of this world that the souls are eternal and coming from behind the curtain and penetrating and getting into this world and give life to this world and all this thing all this gigantic creation is taking place in the present time and we when we are trapped in physicality we cannot experience the world fully and by that cannot grasp and understand Hashem the Creator completely because the Creator created the world as a mirror and the world is reflecting the godliness in every moment and every situation and in every aspect of it so the cells in your body are reflecting godliness in the same time that the um, threads of the fabric of your pants are reflecting godliness while your behavior and your manner reflecting godliness while certain situations between nations and leaders of 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 of, of the nations and and communities are taking decisions and also reflecting godliness in in from their from their spots in their aspects of of being and also this bird that is keep on making sounds while i'm trying to record my video is reflecting some godly sound here it stopped oh came back reflecting godliness reflecting the light of the creator 
but every moment in the present time is reflecting it when actually every moment that took place in the past as well reflect that light of the creator in full power now the creator he has so many faces he is so deep and so enormous and so great and so above physicality that all those faces every leaf of every plant in every place in the world in all the years in all the generations since beginning of time until the moment of redemption inside and out are reflecting the completion of the Creator and every emotion and every feeling of every animal reflects the same and every movie and every song that's been written all those are tiny mirrors that are reflecting the completion of the Creator and they are all filtered and means the light of the Creator is so bright and and strong and, 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 and powerful that on it the verse is saying Lo adam v'chai. a person, a human being cannot see me and stay alive so we have to see him through those curtains through those um, through those filters that are minimizing the light to an amount that we will be able to enjoy that we will be able to recognize the Creator's light through it as individuals now in time of redemption our the level of our awareness will rise from being individuals and we will recognize one thing from the other and gonna grow spiritually to that place that we will be able as the Creator Himself today to see the whole picture today from your point of view you might recognize a lot of truth on the world oh that tree is not just a tree it's a form of life that is growing and represents this and that whatever okay but you're still doing it like I'm doing it right now from my own sofa and my porch in front of that tree and the front lawn in front of my house so m my point of view is very limited here you see that tree being reflected it's that is still very limited even if you grasp more even if you see more and still you're limited as a human being as a person the beauty of all of that is that when the redemption will take place we are gonna understand things so much faster and to such deep levels that we are gonna perceive and and receive and grasp things so fast that our awareness will rise to a place that is above creation and it's a known thing and it's written that all the people will die before redemption but not that death like we know as of today that people are dying and losing their power they're going to be something that is called aliyat neshamot the souls will rise so all the souls like the time of us receiving the torah under mount sinai from mount sinai and we had his talkuta nefesh all the spirits all the souls f were were coming out of the bodies so the illumination will be so great that the bodies won't be able to hold the souls and all the souls will rise for a moment and will experience a very deep uh, spiritual experience that will be above time and in that time that will be considered only as a moment in this world we will all gonna rise as one and we will be able to see and recognize all the reflections from all the aspects from all the directions in all the angles in one time as one we're gonna lose our individuality and we're going to climb above all the constrictions and limitations 
of today that we're stuck in today and we're all gonna rise and gonna see the world from above but not as a bird that is flying above just as that bird and as that deer and as that person and as that man and woman and child and as that tree and as that house from all the angles from all the point of view in the same time suddenly your spirit will become one with all the rest of the spirits with all the rest of the souls and the information of all the truth of all the creations in all time zones since beginning till time of redemption that will be the present time of redemption we will experience them we will see the world as God God will take us Hashem will take us to that place that is above physicality just to let us see and when we're gonna see that we're gonna recognize that all those things all those sights all those aspects are reflections of his godliness and we will see his face in all the aspects from all the angles but it's going to be like to see him through the mirror we're not going to see him yet we're just going to recognize and perceive and understand all the reflections in one time suddenly we're going to see him through the mirror through this world reflection but in completion we're just going to see it all and then when we're going to see that suddenly we're going to look down and we're going to realize that we're above the world and we're going to see the world and we're going to see the world from above time suddenly we're going to see the world from outside of it and it's going to be like we were standing above like a shiny um, silver water like water that are so clean and so pure that you can see only the shine like silver like pure silver I think it's called pure marble stone that will be beneath us will be under us and we all suddenly gonna see that and we're gonna understand that for a moment we came back to that place that is called divine water maim elyonim high water water been separated to two kinds of water and the water is the soul and there is higher water divine water that are in heaven those are the souls that have not come down to this world and there is a certain different water that are the same but experienced a different experience and they are being called crying water and the crying water are the water that been separated from their source and went down to this world and they're suffering from the separation that's the sorrow and the pain that we experience as souls that we feel so drifted away and exiled from our source from our spring but in that time of redemption our souls will leave the bodies and will rise to this dimension of above and over there we will be united with the upper water the higher water the godly water And then we will um, realize that all this world is actually a creation. And then we will stop suffering from our own private and individual issues that we are so bothered with because we're going to understand by seeing the whole picture what was the purpose and what was the reason 
of every particle of our life, of every moment, of every situation, every scene. Suddenly we're going to see that thread as part of a whole huge carpet. A perfection of the creation will be revealed to us in all its forms and all its greatness and beauty. And then our souls will come back to our bodies and we all as one, as friends, while the world is producing only good because in that moment that our soul will rise, our souls will rise, all the negativity and all the darkness and all the death and all the sorrow and pain and grief, all the darkness will disappear from the world in that time. And we will come back to a fixed world. And then in that fixed world, surrounded by all of our beloved ones, after the resurrection of the dead, with all their good and pure souls that ever lived in this world, we all together are going to walk to the holy city of Yerushalayim, holy city of Yerushalayim. And uh, over there, there's going to be a seuda, a feast, a meal. Everyone will be there together and going to dine and going to eat and going to celebrate. And the happiness and joy in the streets will be above our ability to describe. The verse is saying, Ein lo elokim zulatecha. There is no eye that can describe that sight except of a godly eye. <sighs> and I have much more to tell you about it, but uh, Shabbat is about to enter and we need to make our families happy. So may the Creator bless you. We're all going to do it together as one. And stay tuned and share the videos and help us to distribute this message to all 70 language, languages, to the whole wide world, that everyone will know his name and will call him in his name and will recognize the divine soul that is treasured inside of them and will follow the inner light of their spirits and will be good, like we're good. Are we good? Shabbat Shalom. The world is not exist because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.